Dr. Gargola, take number 55. <laughs> this is Todd Ponsky from the Journal of Pediatric Surgery. We are here in Chihuahua, Mexico at the 49th Annual Mexican Congress of Pediatric Surgery. We've been asked by several people for us to start reviewing some urologic articles. So today, we have Dr. Patricio Gargoyo, who is Associate Professor of Urology at the Mayo Clinic. Patricio, thank you for being here. Great, thanks Todd. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with you guys. Good day everybody. My name is Patricio Gargoyo. I'm a pediatric urologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And today, we're going to be discussing an article by Arena and Romeo titled, Is Inguinal Orchidopexy Still a Current Procedure in the Treatment of Intra-Abdominal Testis in the Era of Laparoscopic Surgery? This is a very interesting retrospective article from the University of Messina where they looked at their patients from 2012 to 2015 and asked the question, in patients with intra-abdominal testicles, is it safe to proceed with an open versus a laparoscopic vessel sparing approach? They did a retrospective analysis and found 19 patients for a total of 21 orchidopexies and the protocol was fairly straightforward and simple. Everybody underwent inguinal ultrasound. If the testicle was not localized on inguinal ultrasonography, they did a laparoscopic exploration, and if the testicle was seen in the abdomen, they proceeded with an open inguinal approach. Again, they did 21 patients with this method, and what was very interesting is they had zero testicular loss, is that their atrophy rate was zero. They had one patient that required a redo operation for a high positioning in the high scrotum, but otherwise, they had complete survival of all their patients. Patricio, thank you for that review. I just want to make sure I understand. These, these guys went in laparoscopically, saw that there was a testicle, and then made an open incision and probably lap assisted, brought out the testicle and did it open. What's the point of this article? Yeah, Todd, I, that's exactly correct. And I think the point is that if you have limited equipment or limited experience laparoscopically, you can still use the rudimentary aspects of just visualizing the testicle laparoscopically to then assist your open procedure. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that review. My pleasure.